Yeah, still up. Wow. Let me tell you, it has been a different night. A lot of answers. Let me tell you one of the biggest ones. See, back when I was very young, people being around me scared me because uh, I didn't know it at the time. I could feel their soul. And it's all cool that they got a happy soul. But if they're hurting inside, not cool. Not cool at all. Matter of fact, tonight, a few times. Anybody ever seen X-Men? You know, Xavier goes into that little room and has that big globe and he can put that helmet on and find all the mutants in the world. Or he can find all the normal people. Well, let's just say the mutants are the ones that are hurting souls. And uh, he's let me feel that a few times tonight. Wow. There's a lot of hurting souls in the world yet. God's been dealing with this for a long time. Totally understand why it does not have a second thought one about putting someone in hell. Because that's hurt. Anyone that's causing that kind of hurt, yeah. I wouldn't have any problem either. Um, yeah, that's uh, one of the things that I have. And supposedly my family does too. They just don't know it as well. And God keeps it toned down for them. But the problem is when you're really little, it's still scary as heck. And that's why my first day of school for the first four years in grade school, I cried. Being around all them kids. And a lot of them were not happy souls. the way it was for me I uh, I have definitely lived a different life than anyone else on this planet see and as he was explaining it to me see not only did Jesus get help at an early child he was, uh, because man was very primitive back then. And so God was talking to him all his life. Unlike me, where pretty much January of 2018 was the first time I really acknowledged him. He talked to me before. But I never heard a him. It was like I got a movie in my head. It was about uh, string theory. And uh, Fabric of Cosmos. Where they were talking about the hidden dimensions of string theory. And God told me that was the power that he had. But see, back then I thought of it as a fish tank. And God was on the outside of the fish tank. We were living in the fish tank. And he was outside. 
control on it. And that's the image that I had. And, uh, but he told me then that that was his power. Here is those hidden dimensions. But anyway, I've, uh, Jesus had him all his life. And he taught him, talked to him, and learned everything all his life. I mean, he was able to walk on water at an early age. I, in my path, in my second king position, I only have logic. However, it's uh, it's becoming different now. I do feel things, but I'll never be able to prove anything. I'm not here for proof. I'm here to deliver logic. So, hence the total different paths. But, uh, I don't regret it at all. I know I'm blessed to be his son. And that's all cool. But the real cool part the awesomest part of all is that I got to live in this world as one of you and I dreamed of being able to see a day when the world lived in peace and not only can I see it now I'm the one that leads us into it <laughs> Tell me that ain't the greatest gift ever. Um, as far as uh, something I seen earlier about records, I asked God, "What should we do?" And uh, everyone. They're going to have to get used to the fact that their whole life is an open book. And so if you've lived your life as a criminal and you were a felon, you are going to have that on your record. And anybody will be able to see that. After all, you did do it and you own it. That's the way it is. However... Moving forward, finding peace, everyone must look for that. And yes, mothers might want to check up on things for the first few years, but time will come when they won't worry. We won't lock doors. We'll be able to leave something to sit there and know that nobody's ever going to steal it. Because everybody will want to go to heaven. And as they change their programming from the screwed up one they have right now in this world to following God, peace will come across this earth. We just have to uh, sort out the pit bulls that bite and can't help it. They will have to be put down. If they can't help it but live a life of crime or hurting, the rest of us do not have to put up with that. And that is it. 
everyone will have fair warning. And that's the way it's going to be. So, give us time to sort out the pit bulls that bite. Hopefully there's none. But, free will. That's the way it is. And Avatar Law will not hesitate. No more. No more circuses. If you're a criminal, we'll brand you that. You will get the mark of the beast. After the second mark of the beast, you will go to jail forever. You so much as hurt an inmate or a guard in jail, you'll get your third mark and we'll send you on home. And that's going to be the end of it. The world is going to live in peace. And that's what we're going to do. And so if you were a felon, committed crimes, did bad things, yeah, it's going to be on your record. But there's going to be a whole bunch of people like you. What you need to do is show them you're not a pit bull that bites. You're not a criminal. That you do believe in God. And you're like everybody else. You just want to straighten your life out. Like I said, in three years, it probably won't make a difference at all anymore. What's on your record? But everybody will have a record. Here's one thing he does not want, though. He doesn't want no purchases tracked. You can't new. We're ending this bullshit with marketing. Okay? You be able to go in there and buy it. They'll market that one was sold, but they have no idea who bought it. And the best product wins. And then they'll quit with the advertising. Oh my gosh, it's been such a nightmare. It's like you just go to a website. Next thing you know, that's all that's advertised on your damn computer. Is that crazy? That is, oh my God, they have gotten good. That's just gone. Matter of fact, if that's your life on the computer, <laughs> you're done. Yeah, if you're a computer marketing expert, you're done. You're a telemarketer, you're done. You so much as scam one dollar out of a little old lady, and you will get the mark of the beast. We'll find you. God will make sure you get caught. That's part of why no cash. It's also going to be the thing that helps us with these other countries that are being a little hard-headed. The whole world will move on. And, uh, They'll just be standing still. Talk about a trade embargo. She ain't with nothing coming in or out. But their people won't let it go. Matter of fact, as this word spreads around the world, the people will take up and it will be over. But nobody. And I want this expressly explained to anyone you talk to. Nobody commits violence. We just don't listen to the idiots. We organize. We go around them. And that's... Don't put yourself in jeopardy. Just say, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And as soon as you're out of their sight, okay, here's what we're going to do, Joe. All right. 
That's the way it's got to be. We got to know who the pit bulls are. And if uh, it need be, Avatar Law will round them up on Christmas Day. If the rest of the world's done decided that they want God to run it. And these idiots think they want to run shit. Avatar Law will get involved. So, but we're going to do it in a non-violent way. But I am not going to let any of the officers be in jeopardy. So if they got to shoot one of them dumbasses, they're going down. That is the one excusable violence. If an Avatar law officer is in front of you and he says, put your hands on the wall, you better put your damn hands on the wall. Or they're sending you home for judgment. <laughs> we'll skip the three marks. Because <laughs> that's it. That's it. The world's going back to God and his law is going to rule the land. We're tired of dealing with idiots. It is time to stand up and end this shit. Don't know how much more I'm staying up, but uh, I just want to tell you about that Xavier thing. I'm telling you, man, that was weird. It was weird. It's part of the reason why him and me and Jesus can talk. But, uh, yeah. That's something that uh, you definitely have to watch the movie in heaven to get a real grip of what I'm experiencing. He says you guys will be able to see it and feel it too. So, anyway, all records out in the open. Big Brother is not only watching, but he's taking notes. It's happening anyway, dude. Everything you, you do. I mean, you no more tie your shoes and there's a record of it. We just haven't actually physically been taking those records here. But if you steal, if you hurt people, yeah, it's going to be on your permanent record. That way, until we get the pit bulls sorted out, people can check. So, just behave yourself. It's going to be all right. Write this thing out and follow God. You're going to be just fine. And God's force be with all you.